What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fezzy Fitness. I highly recommend all you classic Fizzy fans to watch the podcast on Mr. Olympia TV with the top classic Fizzy competitors, Brion, Tawans, Ramon and Ors. I will roll this clip right here to give you guys an idea of how entertaining it was. All credits to Tawig for making this so funny and engaging for all the fans. Yeah, well, Bob, I tell you, I was in Romania with Terence. I said I was going to take off my shirt during the seminar. He was scared, man. I'm, let me tell you. He for said, good reason. He was scared. <laughs> he ran out of the room. He goes, Tarek, are you going to refund all these people? The Brazilian sensation Ramon was asked what he thinks about the reigning three times classic physique champion, Chris Bumstead, saying all these other guys are fighting for second place, especially if he keeps on bringing his A-game to the Olympia stage. And you guys better believe that Chris isn't slacking one bit in terms of diet or training currently. Let's really make you earn some enemies right now. Uh, top three in no particular order, but... Uh, no, 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 Bob! Bob! Don't back down! <laughs> I just gave you such a nice compliment. If, if, I, had to, uh, if I had to pick it right now, I would go with Bumstead, I would go with Terrence, and I would go with Breon. So you're going with the traditional guys. You're going to get so many dinosaurs on your direct message. You will well, here's, here's the thing you got to look at. You got you to put some logics into this stuff, right? Ramon seems extremely confident, especially after putting in the off-season work. His back will be much improved as compared to what we saw at the Arnold Classic this year, where he placed second. He is training like a savage in the gym. The intensity in this latest leg training video was over the roof. This clip will give you a better understanding of how hard some of these pros train. This is going to be the most competitive classic physique Olympia since 2016, the year this division was created. And it's not just the top 5, even from 6th to 10th place is going to be impossible to predict. Are you guys ready for another Olympia qualifier this weekend? Here are some final updates from some of the potential top competitors. Those lads on Vlad in the most muscular shots look insane. His weakness is when he turns around and hit those back shots. That's where he gets exposed. As a young guy, Vlad has time on his side to make those improvements. I do think he has the ability to win here because the caliber of competition isn't very high. Jamie Christian aka The Giant has started to carb load under the guidance of Milos, his coach. So, it's safe to say that the chances of him being flat on stage are almost none. He is 6 foot 5, so it's gonna take an eternity to fill that large frame. But he will definitely be bigger than the last time we saw him. James Hollingshead did predict that Jamie has a very high chance of winning this show and get an easy ticket to the Olympia. Andrea Muzi is another title contender here. We do not know how a long prep will affect his look here, but even if he cracks top 3, he will have a good chance of qualifying for the Olympia on points. Blessing Avudebo isn't in the discussion when it comes to the top 10 this year. This is a great lineup. But he is fired up to take out some names in 15 weeks time. He has great flow and proportions when it comes to the upper body. It's the legs that need to come up. He had a nice little off season after New York Pro which was in May. So we can expect a better version of him stepping on stage in December.
The argument that he is already in his 30s and can't bring up his legs was dead after people saw his transformation from 2021 to 2022. Extremely excited to witness Blessing's rematch with Charles Griffin, who wasn't happy losing to him. He is still practicing those vacuums and quite frankly, the implementation of vacuum made a huge difference in the flow of his physique. Charles has one of the craziest back out there. He came over his one weakness this year and he plans to be at his best come Olympia. Charles vs Blessing. Who wins? Drop your predictions in the comment section. Hit the thumbs up button if you liked the video and smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.